Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back finally to another video of Star Trek Legacy. I'm finally back from my week long break of not producing anything. I've gotten all the software loaded back onto this computer that I needed to. Uh, and we are back in Star Trek Legacy, but as you can see, or maybe you can't, but you will pretty soon, we are in regular Star Trek Legacy, not with the Ultimate Universe mod yet. I have yet to download and install that, but I figured I'd take the time uh, currently to just to sort of revisit original Star Trek Legacy, because I know I made, what, hundreds of videos on Star Trek Legacy just by itself, but then we went to the Ultimate Universe mod on a bigger and better things, and I feel like I've sort of lost the connection with the original game, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to go back into it. And here we have the very much missed, by me at least, uh, a Kula-class destroyer. This thing is gone with the Ultimate Universe mod, but it looks so cool. I mean, maybe it doesn't even look cool, but it just looks so, it's so different, it's so unique. It has a gigantic phaser emitter on the bottom of that, whatever the heck that is, it's, it's chin, it's leg, I, I'm not sure what, what you would call that part of the ship. It's not the secondary hull, that's for sure, uh, just that, that lower weapons array, and uh, I always thought it was a cool ship. We also have a regular constitution class, we have an intrepid class, and we have... The original, actually, maybe I should change it out for, nah, it's fine. We have the original Proxima class. I miss this thing. I missed it a lot. I loved it. This is my favorite starship. You know, back before they, they changed the design with the Ultimate Universe mod, this was my favorite uh, type of ship. So, I, I will be delighted to take it into battle. We are just having ourselves versus the Klingons with five respawns. Uh, it is in all eras. We could get... Uh, galaxy class starship or ambassador class or sovereign class if we wanted to but I don't want to do that today I'm gonna to be exploring with this uh, re regular legacy all week so maybe we'll go to other ships and other other, other factions use the Romulan some or the Klingons or, or the Borg but right now I just want to take these ships out and see how well they perform against the Klingons so yeah everything is sort of how it's supposed to be Let's see if we are powerful Good. enough to defeat Spending them. Back. Oh. I had forgotten what regular legacy was. Oh, oh, oh. There's a Romulan starbase. But we gotta bed. check this ship out. Look at it. It's so gigantic. Yes, if I was an admiral in, in, in the Federation, this is the ship I would use. Oh, already engaging the Klingons. Their shields are down. Can I get a torpedo lock? No. Yes! Oh, the original torpedo sound. Alright. The intrepid class doing the same things it always does. Like I said, five respawns, so the battle is not over immediately. But I want to see the Akula class here. Why are we going backwards? They only have two ships? Do they only get two of them? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I'm too close to the, uh, the planet to be able to warp. The, they took that feature out, I think, of the Ultimate Universe mod. Because I, I don't have that same issue. Maybe it's just a, a glitch for me, but... Yeah, okay, let's... Come on, save something for me to shoot. Don't take them all out. I want to use the gigantic phaser slung underneath this thing. There we go. Look at that. That is so cool. I miss this game. Incoming torpedoes, and the thing is, uh, with the ultimate, with the, uh, not ultimate, mind, with the regular Star Trek Legacy, the ships are a lot more fragile. They're much more easy to destroy. Wait, they do have four ships. This one was just hidden. Clever. Shields are down. Enterprise has been destroyed. Um, we're losing shields. 
Oh, I forgot the Ravenous class has like the, those death beams. Alright. I do not want your death beams. Well, shoot. We just lost Ticonderoga. Okay, then. Well, it would seem that our next generation phasers are more powerful than the Ravnus class's weapons, but they are still very dangerous. All right, now we could use those torpedoes. Let's just gently curve this direction and then fire everything. Beautiful, let's get out of here. Oh, darn. Distract him. Distract him too, maybe, or not, just him. All right, full power to shields. That torpedo missed. Uh, we still have the same damage glitch on the primary hull. Damage isn't quite realistic looking. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, um, 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 the Prox... Nope. Proxima class. There we are. And look, the Brels are actually shooting. It's a miracle. Oh, fire the broadside cannons. Alright, we actually have no power to our weapons for some reason. Um, let's give the Enterprise a good repair. In the middle of battle, probably not the best idea. Just taking power away. There we go. Now, if, if I could get a torpedo to fire, that would be beautiful. Come on. There we go. Yeah, torpedoes do a lot of damage in regular Legacy. That's one thing that I've noticed that they sort of took out of the Ultimate Universe mod. Like, you just, you just don't get that sort of damage. I'm not saying I don't like the Ultimate Universe mod. It's great. But there are some things in regular Legacy that I kind of like better. For instance, those two ships that were discontinued. You know, I, I don't care for their redesigning of the Proxima, and I don't really... I miss. That's what we're looking for. I, I, I miss the Akula class. But I do love all of the other ship designs that they've implemented in the, the Ultimate Universe mod. And plus there's more species now to play. So, yeah, it, it is it is better than, than the regular game. But I still like the regular game. Anyway, back to the Akula class. Hercules, standing by. And at the same time, though, I was saying that in regular Legacy here, it's much more easy to do damage to an enemy, enemy uh, vessels with, like, your torpedoes. And that's true. At the same time, though, I like in the Ultimate Universe mod that battles can last a long time, you know? Because in the movies and the TV shows, it was never, like, three hits from a torpedo and the ships were destroyed, you know? They'd, they'd be in the battle for quite some time exchanging fire. And I like that they have that. Uh, in the Ultimate Universe mod, but like I said, just regular Star Trek Legacy is still a lot of fun. So I just thought that I'd I'd try some out this week and just just see what it's like one last time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that six and a half minute battle, and I hope there are at least some of you who are finding or who who find this video interesting. You know, seeing regular Star Trek Legacy unmodded. And uh, all that being said, I do, even though I slightly criticize the Ultimate Universe mod, I do prefer to have the Ultimate Universe mod than to not have the Ultimate Universe mod, because it does, it does so much with the game, 
and gives you gives you so many more options on what to do and uh, what ships you can choose, what battles you can set up. And there's so much more than in regular Legacy, and I think that's beautiful. But I just thought it would be fun to see regular Star Trek Legacy again, because we have not seen it in a very long time. So anyway, we're going to have more of these regular Legacy videos this week, and probably next week I'll get the mod all installed, and we'll be back to usual putting out whatever battles you want to see. So... Uh, with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, then uh, please subscribe because there is always more Star Trek Legacy, except for this last week when there wasn't. Uh, but there will be from now on. Uh, if you guys did not like this video for whatever reason, I apologize for that. And I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy them and I will make my next videos better and they will be more awesome. So, uh, as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, I don't know if I'll see your suggestions in time before I make my next Legacy videos tomorrow with regular Star Trek Legacy, but feel free to start putting down suggestions for what you want to see in the future. Um, but it'll probably be with the Ultimate Universe mod installed, unless I can't get it installed for some reason. So just keep that in mind when putting your suggestions down. So, anyway, like I said, this is regular Star Trek Legacy right here, unmodded. Uh, it sort of takes me back to the beginning of the channel, you know, when I could speak... And uh, my, I didn't even have headphones plugged in and my voice would echo. And I, I think that I, I've come, I've at least made a little bit of progress since then, I, I, I think. You know, I'm a little more confident in what it is that I'm saying. And uh, I think I've sort of figured out how my recording software works. By the way, I had some issues uh, getting my editing software and recording software to work. So that was a headache. But I think it's probably working now. Um, <laughs> hopefully. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I probably shouldn't ramble on as much as I am, so I'm just going to say I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am back and producing more videos. I was able to get Kerbal Space Program back up and running with everything saved. I was able to get Star Trek Armada running with the campaign saved. Everything is working, so we can look forward to lots of awesome videos in the future. As always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time.